Out of six siblings, Juan and I were the closest in age. We did, I mean, everything you can imagine is two friends doing together. Not just two brothers, two friends. Juan was a peacemaker. He was always breaking up my fights. But if you saw him in class, he was a clown, an instigator, a troublemaker. <laughs> he wasn't a saint. Growing up with my brother was a gift, but our lives would change directions much sooner than we expected. I had an appointment, I went to go see the neurologist. He did a couple of tests. I went back in the end of October and he diagnosed me with ALS, Lou Gehrig's. And, you know, it was like dropping a bomb on me. And the news affected all of us profoundly, but we didn't have a clue of the intensity of the situation, really. And for me, it meant having to face up to this 15-year drug addiction and decide whether or not I was gonna be able to be there for my brother, for my family. I think at some point, we don't want him to make a bad decision. Yeah, but I mean, but... At some point, they're gonna to have to make a decision. Either you decide that you wanna do the tracheostomy, or you can elect to have comfort care where you're made comfortable, but nature will take its course. Regular medicine just tells you to go home and die. And it's kind of hard to accept that. So, can't give up. <laughs>